Welcome to the Carnival Horizon. This is Jason here. I'm going to do a full walkthrough ship tour. You're going to enjoy it. We're going to take it deck by deck. Let's preview the Lido deck. When you first come out, you're going to go into the Red Frog Rum Bar, the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar, the main pool area, the Blue Iguana Cantina, and then the Lido Marketplace. Right through the Lido Marketplace is Pizza del Capitano and the Tides Pool and Bar. Let's head on back to the main pool area. This is the Carnival Seaside Theater and it consists of many venues and we're gonna take a look at each one. Right here is the main pool area. This is the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. They offer specialty tequila drinks, so come on over, grab yourself a beverage and hang out at the pool. You can head on over also to the Red Frog Rum Bar. The cool thing about the Red Frog Rum Bar is that they make their own beer. If you're hungry, head on over to Guy's Burger Joint where you can get fresh burgers made right off the grill. This is a favorite among Carnival cruisers. After you hit the toppings bar, you can just have a seat right here at the pool deck. Right across the way is the Blue Iguana Cantina. This is where you can order a nice burrito, taco, get a taco salad. You can head on over to the salsa bar and just load it up with whatever salsas you want and grab your favorite hot sauce. Right through here is the Lido Marketplace. This is the buffet area for the Carnival Horizon. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is complimentary, so it is included in your cruise fare. Folks, if you like the ship while we're on tour here and you want to book a cabin, make sure you give me a call. You'll be so happy that you did, as what we do is amazing. We offer discounted rates. That's right. We're going to give you whatever promotion that the cruise line is offering you, but in addition, we're going to give you an exclusive agency discount. Our clients love it, and when they call us, they are so happy that they did. Just keep in mind, to get the discount, you must give us a call because these are amazing unpublished rates and they are not posted on our website. Let's head on upstairs all the way in the back of the buffet. There is a staircase and it's going to take you to a couple of specialty dining restaurants. This is GG Asian Kitchen where you can enjoy Asian delights. Across the hall is Cucino del Capitano. This is the Italian restaurant. There is an exit up here, and if you walk out the back, we're gonna go right into the Tides pool area. The Tides pool area consists of a couple of hot tubs, a nice size pool, and a few dining venues. There's a bar right in the middle, so it's a perfect spot to grab a drink, hang out on the stool here, and relax. There are plenty of loungers, so if you wanna lie in the sun, it's a nice spot to also get a tan. Let's check out the Seafood Shack. It's right here in the back where you can enjoy fresh seafood a la carte. This is Pizza del Capitano. It's open late. It's a perfect spot after a good night of drinking to come and get yourself a nice slice of pizza. Let's go to deck 15. I want to give you an overall preview. Right here is the Serenity Adult Area. This is Dr. Seuss's Waterworks. Now if you look over to the left, you're going to see the main pool area. Over here is the Sports Square. Then right after that is the Sports Court. And then we're going to be back here at the Tides Pool. Let's start off right here at the full basketball court. You can also enjoy soccer and games like dodgeball. Right in front of that is the outside workout area. Let's take a look at the main part of the sports square. Here you can enjoy many different activities. There is pool, ping pong, mini golf. You can also enjoy the sky ride. You can head on into the clubhouse where you can find a few games. There is ping pong, foosball. There is also soccer pool, which is a lot of fun. Right out here is the sky ride. The sky ride is a lot of fun. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bicycle all the way around the back of the ship. And after that, why don't you hit the ropes course where you can walk all the way around the sports square. Let's head up to the front of the ship and take a look at the Dr. Seuss's waterworks area. Here you're gonna find amazing water slides that are extremely high. It's amazing that they can even put these up on a cruise ship. They also offer smaller slides for toddlers and plenty of splash toys and places to have fun and hang out. 
let's head on into the Cloud9 Spa and take a look at the thermal suites as well. It's a great idea on the first day of the cruise to come on in and take a tour. They're gonna show you first the thermal suites, which are amazing. When you first walk in, you're gonna see the thalassotherapy pool and the heated chairs. To be able to use the thermal suites, you're gonna need to either get a day or a week pass. I recommend coming in at least for a day so you can enjoy the steam rooms and the saunas and they have different types. For example, there's an oriental steam bath and other types of aromatherapy. Let's head on into the gym. It's together with the Cloud9 Spa. So to come to the gym, you're gonna go all the way to the front of the ship. And there are plenty of different types of machines, free weights, stair masters, and treadmills. It has a pretty cool view out the front of the ship, so it's a nice place to work out. You can also enjoy spin class and yoga here as well. Let's take a look at the Serenity Adult Area. And that's right, this is just for adults, and it is a nice place to relax and lie in the sun. There are comfortable chairs, there's a bar, grab a drink and sit at the stool here. You can even grab one of their specialty Red Frog beers. Here at the front, you're gonna find awesome views, cabanas, and umbrellas. Let's head on down to deck five. I'm gonna give you a quick preview. This is the liquid lounge. After that, the shops and the atrium. Then the piano bar. Right after that is bonsai sushi. Then the alchemy bar. Then pixels. Then the brew house. After that is Java Blue and the Ocean Plaza. Then we're gonna go into the Havana Bar and then all the way at the end is the Havana Pool area. Let's head on over to the Liquid Lounge. This is the theater. I love this theater. I really like the bar. The theater spans two decks. It's really cool to be able to come over to the bar and grab one of these stools and watch the show. That's what I like to do but you can also just grab a drink and head on over to one of your seats. Let's head on into the piano bar. This is one of the spots where I love to end my night. It's fun to listen to the piano player play all the songs that we enjoy singing along with. I like to sit at the bar, but you can also sit around the piano table. Right next to the piano bar is Banzai Teppanyaki. This is where the chef cooks the food right in front of you. It's a lot of fun, it's very entertaining, try it out. Right next to Banzai Teppanyaki is Banzai Sushi. All the sushi here is a la carte. You can either sit up at the sushi bar, one of the tables, or you can sit outside. Let's go on into Fahrenheit Steakhouse. Fahrenheit Steakhouse specializes in steaks and seafood. There's a nice elegant area where you can enjoy a nice romantic meal. You can either sit inside or outside on the deck. Right here in the middle, exactly midship is Alchemy Bar. Here the mixologist will make you a perfect drink made exactly to your liking. This is Pixels. This is where you'll find the pictures that the photographers take of you while you're on board. Right down the way is Pig and Anchor. This is a bar and barbecue joint. A lot of people like to come here because they make their own beer, so it's a really cool place to check out. At nighttime, you'll be able to enjoy live music, barbecue, and delicious drinks. You can walk right out of Pig and Anchor and head on to the Lanai. Here you'll find the barbecue buffet area. It's only open on sea days and check this out, the first day of the cruise. Not a lot of people know that, so that's a little tip for you. Let's head on back in. This is Java Blue. This is the specialty coffee place. Here you can enjoy an espresso, a cappuccino, a nice treat, or a tasty shake. Right next to Java Blue is where you can inquire about restaurant reservations. This is Ocean Plaza. There's a lot of activities that take place here. You can enjoy activities, live music. A lot of people like to come here and congregate and have drinks together. You can head right on over here to the left side and go to the bar. There are stools up at the bar. You can also get a specialty coffee here. And it's a really cool spot to have a before dinner drink. Let's head on into the Havana Bar. This is all the way at the back of the ship. You'll notice that the decor resembles Havana, Cuba. At night, it's a lot of fun. Bands will come in and everyone will be dancing. During the day, there are really cool bar stools and a nice place to sit over here at the bar to be able to enjoy a Cuba Libre or a nice Cuban espresso. 
Let's head on out to the Havana pool area. Here you're gonna find a nice bar, a couple of hot tubs, and a pool right in the center with some cabanas. Keep in mind, folks, that this is an exclusive area. This area is for guests who have booked in Havana Suites. The Havana Suites are really cool. When you give us a call, make sure you ask us about them if you're interested. Let's head on down a deck. I'm gonna give you a preview. Right here is the atrium. Then we're gonna go through the casino. Right after the casino is the sports bar. Then we're gonna go right into the Limelight Lounge and then all the way at the back is the Meridian Main Restaurant. So going down deck four, you're gonna find a lot of the stores right here at the front. So if you need a little knickknack, a shirt, or some jewelry, head on in. Right here is the casino. The casino offers many different types of slots, card games, and tournaments. It's a lot of fun to come here and play a few hands of blackjack, maybe some roulette and craps. Here's a tip. If you're gonna gamble in the casino, make sure you bring cash on board because if you use their machine or put it on your key card, there is a fee. Let's head on into the Skybox Sports Bar. Here you can enjoy all your favorite sporting events. They have huge TVs throughout the entire establishment, so it is an excellent spot to relax, chill, and check out your favorite game. Also in the corner, there is a poker machine. It's a digital machine, but it still works the same as regular Texas Hold'em. This is the Limelight Lounge. Here you can enjoy the best comedians. And there are different types of comedians. They have PG and R rated. They call them the adult shows. And they're a lot of fun and they're extremely funny. In my opinion, Cardinal has some of the best comedians at sea. Over here, midship near the casino is Club O2. This is the kids area. It's for 15 to 17 year olds. Parents, keep in mind that once your kids are in here, you are not allowed to come in. This is an adult free zone. Let's go into the Meridian restaurant. This is the main dining room and it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There is either a early or a late dining or you can do your time dining. That's what I usually like to do. If you do your time dining, you can go in anytime the restaurant is open for dinner. If you do an early or a late dining, then you'll go in at 5.30 or eight o'clock. Let's head on over to the atrium. The atrium is the heart of the ship. Check it out, all three decks converge right here. Decks three, four, and five. A lot of activities and entertainment take place right here. Sometimes there will be a live solo singer. Sometimes there will be a violinist. Either way, there is always something action-packed right here. Over in the corner of the atrium is guest services. If you have any questions, just head on over here. They'll help you out with whatever you need. And all the way across the atrium on the other side is the shore excursions desk. I recommend you book your excursions online, but you can also book them right here. Over here in the atrium in the back is the reflections. This is also part of the main dining. So which dining room will you be in? it'll be on your key card. Let's take a look at the IMAX Theater. Here you can enjoy new releases and an amazing atmosphere. When you first walk in, you're gonna grab some 3D glasses and then head on to your seat. Keep in mind that the IMAX Theater is an extra charge, but it's well worth it. Right across the way from the IMAX theater is Circle C and The Warehouse. The Warehouse is where you can play fun, amazing video games. Keep in mind, you do not need money to play these video games. You will need your key card. Over here is the Family Harbor Lounge. To be able to enjoy the lounge, you must be booked in a Family Harbor cabin. It's really cool and an amazing amenity for families. Here you can enjoy breakfast, you can grab a coffee or a tea, a beverage, there are sandwiches, ice cream. It's really nice to be able to just come in here in the morning and grab your breakfast before you go out to port. You don't have to go all the way up to the buffet. Thank you for joining me on the tour. My name is Jason. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give me a call. My number's right there on the screen. Have a wonderful day.